poached eggs. Today you're going to be learning all about poached eggs and the first tip I'm going to give you is you want to make sure that your eggs are super fresh. The reason being is if you look at an egg, for example, if I show you a quick picture that I drew up here, um, you see when we crack an egg, you'll see the yolk in the center, you'll have what we called yesterday is egg white one and then egg white two, the part that kind of comes outside of the egg white one. As the egg gets older, older, osmosis happens and the liquid will kind of come out of this membrane of the, the egg white number one. So the fresher the egg is, the less you're going to have this egg white two and the more round uh, of a poached egg you're going to get. So the fresher, the better. When you go to crack your egg, you're going to crack it not just directly into the water. The best tip that I found is you're going to take your um, egg and you're going to crack it over a small sieve something like this not nothing with giant holes but something with just really small holes and i usually put it over a bowl or a measuring jug so tap 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 crack your egg find that crater go over top of the um, sieve and then just slowly release the egg inside and what's going to happen is you're going to have your egg white um, one is going to remain inside of the sieve but egg white two will start to remove itself the really liquidy part okay because it's not inside that membrane you're not going to leave it in there for too long and be careful if it's in a bowl if it wants a tip like you can see here in my bowl um, might be easier in a measuring jug or whatever works best the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to have uh, a ladle so take your ladle you're going to put it in the water and you're going to dump the egg inside of the ladle just to help keep it shaped if you don't have a ladle you can just do it directly in the pot. Before we put anything in the water though, I'm going to suggest you take a little bit of vinegar and you're going to add just a, a little bit of vinegar to the water, approximately a teaspoon. What that does is it helps the egg coagulate or start to change its state really quickly when inside the water. So now I'm ready. I don't want to leave it in here for more than 30 seconds or so. Uh, I've got my um, ladle here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dump it directly inside. You don't need it to be boiling too rapidly, you just have a, a nice simmer um, in the water. So take your ladle up to the surface, make sure it's still underneath the water, make sure when you move this over, you don't let the sieve touch the water. So you're just going to dump it into your ladle, like so. And then what some people like to do, or what I like to do, is I'll take a spoon as I lower it in, and I'm just going to make a vortex over top like a tornado make, spin the water to help the egg to get a nice round shape um, inside your ladle so you can see here it's turning uh, really nice so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set a timer and I'm going to set a timer for a total of three minutes okay you want to let the egg poach for three minutes in the water you can go ahead and just leave your ladle there and then allow it to poach. After three minutes, well, you're going to take it out of the water and you're going to place it into a bowl of cold water. The reason why I put it in cold water is because if I'm not going to eat it right away and I need to poach a number of eggs, I can put them all in cold water and stops them from continuing to cook so the yolk stays nice and runny. And then when you go to serve it, you can take all of the eggs out of this bowl, dump them back in the hot water for about 30 to 45 seconds, and then they're hot and ready to serve all at once. So that's kind of my tips and secrets of how I poach a nice egg. There's lots of other ways out there that I've, I've watched on YouTube or read about, but I personally find that this is the best method of poaching an egg. And you'll see here in a moment, how nice it is. So if I didn't sieve it out, you're going to see this extra egg white that's left in this bowl here. Um, what would happen is it would start stringing up all over and it would start releasing and into the water and it makes it foamy and not very nice to, to work with. So do make sure that you sieve it if you can, but if you can't and you don't have a sieve at home, don't worry. You can do the same process. Do the vortex over top with your spoon. So you're just going to spin, spin, spin over top of a ladle or inside of a pot if you don't have a ladle. And what will happen as you create that vortex, the excess egg white number two will spin off and then it will float to the top and then you can just take uh, a spoon and you can skim it off the top and then throw it into the, into the bowl. 
the timer has just finished, so it's time to take the egg out of the water now. So um, when you take it out, it might still be in the ladle or it might not be. You can either use a spoon or the ladle itself, whatever's easiest for you. Um, I like to set it on a spoon. And then here, I'm gonna either put it in the cold water or for this instant, I'm going to uh, show you guys right now. So I'm just gonna place it onto a plate. If I'm serving this up to friends or family, I might put it on an English muffin and um, add some hollandaise sauce. Or if I am going to just eat it for breakfast like this, I might salt and pepper, just put it on some bread. So after we cook it, we should be able to cut it open and you should see a nice, perfectly runny poached egg that has a really nice shape uh, like so.